According to Louis, the real Olimar is out there somewhere. We'll finally get our cosmic drive key back. If Lou, if what Louis says can be trusted, that is. All right, let's move out. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Pikmin 3. I am your host, unfortunately for you, Royal Crest. In the last episode, we rescued, I'm not sure if rescued would be the right word, captured uh, the thief Olimar, who turned out to be some guy named Louis. Uh, yeah, no surprise if you played the previous games. Um, and he gave us Olimar's location, so interestingly, we can go beat the game now. However, we're not going to be doing that for the next couple of days. What we're going to be doing is that we are going to be doing a fruit run, trying to collect the leftover fruits in the various areas that we have already been. Now, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to divide this up. Currently, what I'm thinking of doing is kind of making one episode per area. Might splice two in, depending on how things work out. Um... I'll have to put in some sort of reminder tell you how it's going to go, because frankly, as of recording this, I'm kind of winging it. going to be real honest. <laughs> That's sort of how the entire thing's been. Now, originally I was thinking of starting with the Distant Tundra, because that's like the last place we haven't been, but I'm thinking we should finish up the Garden of Hope first, because we only have four fruits left, and also we've cleared out, we've been in the area for a few times, so we've cleared out some of the older enemies. So it's going to be a little bit easier to traverse than if we were to do it la later. So without further ado, let's land, try and get those last four fruit. Alright, before I'm even going to do anything, I'm going to try and figure out where the fruit are. So there is a fruit there, so it's quite literally just behind that fiery blowhog. Um, there is another fruit over here, and it's beneath this trap thing. So we're going to need fire pick or red pikmin, some blues, and some wings. There is an electric gate over here. There is another lightning gate over here. Alright, so truthfully, oh, there's another fruit, and the last two fruit are, well, you can't see anything, there, this is just blackness, but there's two fruit up there, so, alright, so first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disband everyone, I'm gonna have Alf take, uh, just a couple of reds, maybe 15 reds, actually, you know what, we probably only would be good with 10. I'm gonna have Alf go over to where the blowhog is, and then I guess I'll have Brittany take some. Uh, I'm probably will be fine with ten wings and ten blues, and I'm gonna have her go over to where this like little trap trap door thing is. Um, so let's go out. Make sure she goes on the land, because that can be bad, because it looks like some of the um, little fish guys respond. And then, I'm not quite sure, we're going to need a decent number of yellows. Uh, and then I guess, probably just try and take 10 in the, in the rest. Just so that way we have our things covered. Alright, so... First, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Charlie go. Oops, that's completely the wrong direction. All right, so we have Alf. Honestly, just have him ignore the blowhog because we're immune to fire, <laughs> and as are they. And then Charlie can go this way. There are some blowhogs. Okay, that's lovely. Alright, well, they're doing that. I'm just gonna throw the yellows on here. Right, I'm gonna throw half of the yellows there. Hopefully, Charlie can kind of just maneuver around the other blowhogs perfectly fine. And then Brittany's over here. 
I don't think we lost anyone, so that's good. I think this one requires eight, yeah. Oh, you know what? In hindsight, it would've been smart to just grab more blues, but... Whatever. Okay, um... Oh, yep, yeah, okay. <laughs> we lost the blue. Um... Yeah, alright, so there's no way I can get them because the... Oh, they went that way. Oh, that's kind of smart. Um, but yeah, there's not really anything I can do to save that one blue without, like, getting it. So, we lost one. Uh, right, and then I guess I have to go try and rescue the, um, blues or something. I just want to make sure that guy's dead. Um, I want to go back up here, because the reds should be taking out that blowhog. Yep, okay, we're good. So we'll have Brittany wait back at base, and then... For now, we'll just have... Yeah, we'll just have Charlie kind of explore this area. The fruits are in here somewhere. Oh, and this is a yet another weight puzzle. Oh. <laughs> and then I'm gonna have Alf go where these yellow Pikmin are. And then Brittany can go meet Charlie up over here, I guess. Alright, so where does this go? So that's more products. Come on, heal it. Probably doesn't work very well if I'm throwing it right from the side, but like... Okay, so you just pop up here, that's okay. Oh god, they got one! Okay, you know what, we're just gonna try and keep away from that side. Okay, good, 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 good. We got... Awesome, okay. There's some other crawdads over here. These things. You want to try and just way down, kill it. Alright, try not to get anyone drowning. Um... Alright, so for now, I guess I'll just have the wings take the star fruit back. And then, that's basically it from this point. Uh, yeah, can't really do much there. And then, Brittany can help me do this weight puzzle, which... Um... Can we just throw the yellows? Oh wait, I see. 
want to wave this down. So they can just come right across. Oh. I could have just taken the wings, actually. That would have been smart. Get them off. Collect these yellows with Alf. I'm not even sure if I really need to go, because I think that just goes to the other side of the... Yeah, I think, honestly, I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> Alright, so Brittany's got everyone on that side. Oh. Flip's not helping. Stick to the walls. Alright, um... Alright, so honestly what I th guess what we can do is, um, there is a... There is the spicy spray thing, so I guess we can at least try to get some of that, because we don't have any, so that might be useful. Uh, I guess Charlie just... Okay, I have to actually guide him up. So I want to go this way through the thing. And then kind of just go up, I guess. Alright, and then I guess we'll just have... We'll just have our Pikmin over here kind of just collecting, I guess. Um, what we can do, though, is that I will let the yellows take the... this, this thing. Because they have the least, I think, so... Yeah, and I don't think we have many wings either. So they can take that back. Uh, yeah, I don't even think... Okay, you know what? Let's get out of here. Because there's nothing else here for us, so I guess we'll just have him, like, head back to base, I guess. Okay, wait, no, I don't want to... Yeah, cool. I guess I'll just walk back to base myself, because there's really not much else to do. Cleared out the area pretty quick. We got all of the fruit. If we go over here... There are a bunch of teleposies. Um, yeah, so that's fun. However, also, this is the only place that we can find these red butterflies. Uh, come on. Yeah, the red spectralids. <laughs> have the wing pigmen chase after it, yeah. And that actually drops some spicy spray, so... Alright. I'm sure they can get back to base in time, so... I'll just let them... I'll just let them chill. Yeah, it's kind of a laid-back day, honestly. Um... That was actually pretty easy. I'm surprised at how easy it was, because I was a little worried that, like, at least the Garden of Hope would have been a little crazy, but I guess not. It's, you know, I guess after having to do it twice, you kind of, um, you clear out most of the area, and basically by the time you're finished with, um, rescuing Louie, you pretty much clear out the entire area as it would normally be. So, right now, I'm just gonna have Alf call back the people he sent to do fruit hunting. Alright, so there's more Pikmin. 
think there's another yellow headed their way. Because that's the five. So there's another yellow coming through here. And then there's seven Pikmin in danger, which I think... No, there's one one out there still. Um, where is he? Weren't over there. There's a rock that got thrown all the way out over there. Okay, that's great. Um, we're gonna send Alf, Brittany, and Charlie, and we're gonna just grab everyone because I'd rather not certainly lose it, but it should be pretty much easy because he's only walking on that cave. <laughs> yep, there he is. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that sounds pretty good. We got everyone, so you know what? Let's just end the day. That was surprisingly easy, I'm not gonna lie. I was expecting more, but I didn't realize how small the Garden of Hope actually was. So yeah. I can't wait to taste the new fruit. Got a popped airhead. Wow, that was a lot. It's like two and a half, isn't it? You have a velvety dream drop. Dusk pustules. Again, a very gross sounding name. A stellar extrusion. Well, that's kind of a nice color. It's like pink. I like that. <laughs> 25 types of fruit. Nice. Alright. And then we have another, the other half of the stellar extrusion. Because it's star fruit, so stellar. Haha, ha, get it? I'm hilarious. I'm hilarious for explaining jokes that they were probably trying to make. Alright, 46 bottles of juice. Everyone's portions are smaller tonight since they're sharing with the Hakitation. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't really understand that quite as much because... I mean, I understand from a gameplay perspective, like, doing four would kind of suck. Um, like, doing, like, four bottles of juice, but, like, at the same time, Alf drank the entire bottle of provisions on, like, the first night, and then, like, Brittany and Alf split in half, and they were doing a third, and then they are doing quarters, and somehow that's enough. You know? It's kind of weird. <laughs> Alright, actually, today was a pretty good day. We only lost two Pikmin. Pretty nice, if you ask me. Careful observation of blue Pikmin has revealed that they have the ability to swim as well as attack in the water. The way they open their mouths is so cute, but I think that is their way of extracting oxygen from the water. There appears to be openings on their cheeks that resemble gills. <laughs> 